the Grenada Boys Secondary School and St. David's Catholic Secondary have dominated the 2023 Republic Bank Intercall Games to win the boys' and girls' divisions, respectively. We end this week's roundup with highlights from three days of keenly contested track and field events. I think we've had some very, very uh, spectacular performances. I've seen some really, really good times and some outstanding talent among our athletes, I mean, from all the schools. And I think it's a very, very good sign. And I've been encouraged by what I've seen here over the last couple of days. Sports falls under your actual purview as well as um, Honorable um, Redhead. But um, in terms of the strengthening of, of the, the coaching systems within the secondary schools and the encouragement of clubs and more events for the children to showcase their talents, um, what are your thoughts on that, and will you, as the lead minister, be pushing to have that anytime soon? Well, certainly, and I think some of that is already in the making. One, uh, with the push to implement the sports policy, there are some elements of that in terms of capturing the talent early and being able to identify and uh, nurture those talents, so that's there. Uh, additionally, there is already significant collaboration between uh, mainstream education and the Department of Sports to use some of their coaches to assist in some of the pr in clusters of primary schools where they may not be physical education teachers at the moment to facilitate the kind of enhancement of the talent that exists among our students. So there's a bit of that happening and we look forward to having more and more of it as we um, settle and begin to roll out more for our sports programs across the sector. They're off, up, out, and running. Delron John is up. Delron John is up. Delron John is gone. He's got his compatriot from SAS coming, Christoph, but he's not going to hold him. Delron John is gone, and it seems as though Ug Ethan O'Geese from PBC may have snapped the second coming out in the outside lane in lane eight. That was nothing short of awesome, Davis Adams. Talk to me. Up. Out, off, good, clean start, and here we go. This looks like Anglican High School in Shifonia hosting. She's got some work to do, but oh no, she's going to be eclipsed. Happy Hill Secondary School for Leon Samson. It looks like Samson. Samson goes all the way through. So Samson does the big upset and picks up the gold medal, and Happy Hill Secondary does one and two. Off, clean, nice, neat, clean start. And here we go. This looks like Ethan Sam. Ethan Sam is out. Ethan Sam is out. Ethan Sam is gone. Ethan Sam is gone. And there's a fight somewhere for second place. But Ethan Sam did the triple one, two, and four. And boy, did he do it with zest. Clean start. Everybody's gone. No more waiting. The four by 400 meter girls. A good line up here for secondary schools 15 schools participating in this final event for the girls st davis catholic secondary making a quick move on the outside early saint uh, this looks like the anglican high school having some work to do battling with sas out in front is uh, st davis catholic secondary St. David's Catholic Secondary, and uh, that looks like the Happy Hill Secondary School, McDonald's So that's College. Bishop's, College, Bishop's College, and then we have McDonald College, and then Conman making a run on the outside, Anglican High School on the inside. But I believe St. David's Catholic Secondary would uh, lead from start to finish in this event. See, Conman is not going to give them an easy run. They're going to have to work really, really hard for it, but already St. David's Catholic Secondary in Aliyah Gidhari putting on a good first leg performance. Good handover from Aliana Gadari, from Aliyah Gadari, giving it to Akira Moraine, and Moraine is gone, out and running. St. Joseph's Convent is uh, sitting in second position. St. Joseph's Convent sitting in second position. Uh, high school comes up now. The Anglican High School comes up and does some serious work here. Eclipsing, holding on to the lead. This is going to be momentary. We're not sure, but time will tell. Anglican High School trying to stretch out, but to St. David's Catholic not giving up. But on the outside, on the outside, McDonald College is putting in some hard work. Stride for stride out in front. McDonald College and Anglican High School. Anglican High School has decided, no, not just yet, but the real tussle continues right there. Anglican High School, uh, McDonald College on the inside. St. David's Catholic Secondary coming in on the inside. Holding off now, they're going to look to the handover. It looks like St. David's Catholic Secondary will get there first to make the handover. Uh, Anglican High School will 
come in second on this handover St. Joseph's Convent St. George hands over third and this could mean trouble now but McDonald College is not going to give up she's coming on the outside now this athlete from McDonald College is coming on the outside let's see what happens because the Anglican High School has started to stretch their lead here now the Anglican High School in the four by 400 meter this looks like a Maya Henry of the Anglican High School going out and going fast McDonald College is uh, right there in front with them on uh, second position and the St. David's Catholic Secondary School uh, Kamaya Tellisford is holding on to third St. Joseph's Convent St. George we spoke about them in the uh, prelude to this event but they're holding to fourth Anglican High School has hold on to the first position and here they come now for the final handover Anglican High School out and gone the Anglican High School out and gone whole lot of distance there between Anglican High School and McDonald College in the 4 by 400 meter girls relay a lot of daylight nothing in the picture just the Anglican High School look at the distance now this is more like 40 40 meters and Anglican High School it has gone coming around with just over 200 meters to go are we going to see a further kick now from the Anglican High School is this is this lead going to be elasticized any bit we can't say yeah she's going to start pumping she'll start to put some more legs into it some more arm action into it some more shoulders into it and uh, she's going down the street heading to the tape and the noise continues the noise continues Anglican High School going over winning St. Davis Catholic secondary second St. Joseph's Convent St. George third Anglican High School winning the girls four by 400 meter relay a good ankle leg there from the Anglican High School in Kadeen Phillip running a really good ankle leg breaths are held now released and that's the start of the four by 400 meter this is a championship event two schools have a lot to gain or lose from this event one through four and out goes the st andrews anglican secondary school sas ethan sam is no way in sight on your camera now one two three four five and here comes ethan sam he has decided to make this kick now blackett is there for presentation brothers college he's coming around the bend but oh he's got a lot of work to do st davis catholic secondary has come now into the picture shoulder to shoulder with sas st davis catholic secondary and sas but here comes ethan sam for gbss ethan sam is going to power his way through is he going to make the first the handover first yes he comes out in the lead handover first here goes uh, the grenada boys secondary school we're not seeing take on peter kin just yet ah they're holding him back gbss is gone here comes a sass now on the second leg for the st andrews anglican secondary school he's working very hard trying to catch gbss pbc has moved up into third st davis catholic secondary and fourth these four schools have a lot to gain or lose because it is one through four that's the present point standings so a whole lot here for grabs pbc is moving up now into second position getting to hold off the athlete from sas yes he's got him he's going but uh gbss is out in front trying to make the first handover the crowd is raging everybody's bouncing more noise pandemonium in the athletic stadium gbss hands over tagon peter kin is gone and tagon peter kin for the grenada boys secondary school on the third leg here we go saint david's catholic secondary moved back into second wow pbc good run good stride but the elasticity has continued to explode from peterkin peterkin has separated more than daylight maybe about a week now between peterkin and the saint david's catholic secondary this is going to be a nail biter on the finish here we go peterkin working hard running a good third leg for the grenada boys secondary school he's got just about 75 meters to go good shot from the drone that is awesome and here we go pay attention to the corner of your screen because peterkin is gone he's going to hand that over but now this point here 
the final handover, St. Davis Catholic Secondary, Sass, and Telemac for PBC. Two through four. Telemac would want to catch St. Davis Catholic Secondary. He wants to do that because PBC has a lot to gain here. PBC needs to catch St. Davis Catholic Secondary to at least move up into third as best as they can. Somebody needs to remember that GBSS is gone. SAS is remembering it. They know because they know fully well that they can win this without winning. But here comes St. Davis Catholic Secondary. He has caught the GBSS athlete and he is gone. And here comes Telemac for PBC. Telemac for PBC. He's going to pass GBSS. Telemac has gone. PBC is coming in second in this one. That's an awesome run. St. Davis Catholic secondary wins. PBC comes in second. It means that PBC will stay in fourth. Telemac couldn't get to hold off St. Davis Catholic. But more importantly, GBSS came in ahead of St. Andrew's secondary. And that means the celebrations will start with the color green.